Well, good morning everyone. It's been a long time since I made a video. Have not even gotten out metal detecting this year, so I figured I'd make a home improvement one. As you can see, we're kind of renovating the kitchen. Up here we're going to see, uh, we're going to have cabinets that go across the top. You see I kind of made the little markings and stuff on the wall and uh, where it's going to go. So, you know, I don't know if you can see it all. There's my my markings but this wall um, is going to have the stove. The stove is actually going to be on this wall. We're going to have cabinets that wrap around. You can see my new faucet I put in. We're going to keep the sink. I'll show you my little plumbing job. I don't know if you can see it real well but get some pecs in there, new fittings. Some of this is going to have to change when we put the new cabinet in. So um, new cabinets are all in the uh, garage but today's project is this before I can move anything around in this kitchen uh, that's our little distiller going the refrigerator is going to go here on the edge but what I need to do is remove this little heat run and there is another one over there as you can see on the floor so I need to remove these two things and that's going to be today's adventure so Follow me as we go down into the basement. I'll show you my girl. She's sitting over there working. That doesn't want to turn around and wave because she says she looks terrible. But anyway, she doesn't. She's awesome. So, um, all right, we'll go down here. Sorry for all the distraction of the, the camera. We're going to the basement and I'll show you what I got to do. What I got to do um, is we'll come over here first. What I got to do is cut out this plumbing up here. As you can see under there, hopefully, there is the line that I'm going to cut. There's a little heater over there, the little one I showed you upstairs. And then I get all this run that goes way over here. And this is the other line that goes up to the heater against that wall where the stove is going to go. And then it goes way over here up into the bathroom. So what I'm going to do is I got me some PEX pipe there. You can see on the floor. Get it straightened out. So what I am going to do is cut this hopefully right here at that connector where it comes down just above that elbow. I'm going to cut that off. Put in a shark bite and then run that PEX all the way along the ceiling straight down coming right through here and then connecting it up along that pipe up in there. So that end I'm keeping somewhere along there I'm cutting and then all that other plumbing's coming out. But in order to do that, yeah there's my two detectors I got hanging up. In order to do that first I've got to come over here and I got to shut down the boiler and drain it. So I got the hose already on there. As you can see, I had a mess there. For some reason, that little cap was on the end of this, but for some reason, the valve wouldn't shut off. So I assumed it was, but not. You can see I made a little mess already. But um, So I'm going to shut that down, and hopefully, I got me some directions here on how to do it, because when the um, burner guy was here last time, I asked him about it. And he gave me a little tip on how to do it. So, uh, we're going to see. So I can't record everything, but from time to time I'll uh, record some stuff and we'll see how it goes. So, I'm off. Hopefully not a big mess. And um, I'll give you another blurb soon. See ya. Okay, so a little update. I had the hose that went from the shutoff here. Went all the way out and there's a drain on the other side of the floor like one here. Sorry for moving the camera so quick. But for some reason, this keeps oozing. I don't know if you can see it. So I put this bucket here. It already filled up. I figured I'm just going to let it really drain, and I'm not going to rush the thing. to kind of spilled out on the floor a little bit, so i got to keep an eye on this bucket. But um, I also went upstairs and, let, um, and did one of those pressure relief things on the radiators. Um, so... Now there's all air in the system, and for some reason it just keeps oozing out very slow, as you can see. So I'm just going to let it do its thing, no rush, because 
when I go over there to finally cut that copper pipe that's over there in the ceiling, I'll show you again where I got my tubing laid out over here now. So when I go up there and it's going to come, like I said, right across here and down, this piping is going to go. My plan is to first cut the pipe right here or here, wherever, and um, make sure all the water is drained out. So uh, I don't want a big mess when I'm... Um, trying to get up and under in there and then on the other side because I got all the boxes and everything over there so you know I did try to take off this I think they call it a freeze thing or whatever but it wasn't budging so I'm like I'm not going to damage this piece going up because I need from here up so I'm going to put the shock bite here and then come across so um, so it's all good and I don't want to get all this stuff wet that's here so oh yeah one of my next projects just so you know I got some new windows I'm gonna finally get rid of those things try to cut out around there make it fit but it'll be an adventure so we had this new get rid of the cast iron pipe a few years ago and put that in so um but anyway when I get to go and I get something else to show you I'll let you know see ya okay so now I got my pipes cut you can see there, this bad boy's hanging down there. So again, this is the run that I'm taking out. That's probably not too cool. That's probably tweaking that out bad up there. But I cut this one. And yeah, sorry, lost track. Cut that one. This one here goes over to here. So again, I'm going to be cutting that joint up there just above that. And then um, going down here. I should probably brace that back up. I got the hanger there. I'll put that back up. And then that other piece, it's hard to see its way up there. Real short one. That's a pipe coming down. The other one's over there. So I'm going to cut it in about the middle. That one, I'm just going to get wet because there's been water in the pipes and there's nothing I can do. I drained everything best I could. You can see that bad boy's still dripping every now and then. But, uh, alright. So I'll get back to you. Okay, well now we get the nubs for the heaters. I cut them off there. That one's that long one in the kitchen by the table. Uh, we get this end ready to go. It's all cleaned, marked. Where is it? There we go. Get the mark on there for the shark bite. Hopefully, <coughs> excuse me, I got one issue with one of my shark bites. See, these inserts are supposed to go into the pipe so that it keeps it a little more rigid. Well, Somebody already shoved this one in there and I can't get it out. So hopefully I'm going to be able to put the piping in there. It'll go all the way in and then that will be fine. This end will go on the copper. I'm thinking about doing that one. Um, down here it's more open. So if I have an issue, it's easier to get to and try to get off. You know what I mean? So, and then I'm going to run my pipe down there. Finally got these pieces off as you can see. That was a bugger getting up under there. Had a stinking little um, mouse nest up in there. It was stuff, but that's why. See, they come along there, and they've been coming in these windows. See, these windows are just junk. They're all busted open, insulation. See the big gap there? So, I got new windows. Hopefully, I can cut this block out, reframe it, and put in some um, regular... Uh, I forget what they called it, but two pane windows like you'd have in the house. So I got that piece done. There's my other end. Then I'm going to put the shock bite on. And uh, it's still dripping a little bit. A bunch of water came out of there, as you can see, run all down the wall and just whatever. But it is what it is. I'm glad it's in the basement. So once I uh, get a little further, I'll give you another update. See ya. All right. So I get that end in. I don't know how well you can see it. Let me get the light over here so get the shark bite in that guy in see if we can zoom in for you a little bit we get the shark bite in the piping in and then um comes out kind of hang it right there right off to hopefully take the stress out you see it bows down a little bit and then i get another hanger and then i kind of spaced them out a little bit and this one's just kind of temporary holding it up. And now I'm going to come down here. Sorry, I'm walking with the light too, so I can hang the light down here so I get more light. 
uh, and now I'm going to connect this up to there so alrighty we'll see how it goes and then I'll show you the finished product and then we'll turn the water on see ya okay here we go we get it all pinned up there here you can see how the the run goes it kind of go down here but then it had a take a weird bend because of the way I had to fit this in to get it straight and lined up because this pipe right here is um, angled as you can see so it had a loop around and then come down this way so it just kind of makes this loop and um, which is fine and we get it braced up and uh, it should be okay hopefully I don't have to put another brace in and Hopefully I did it right. I wanted to leave a little space if I ever had to pop the pipe out. I can always just, I got a little space to pop it up and get it off the hangers without taking the hangers down. And um, this line I wanted to leave open a little bit here in case I have to do something funky. Like I said, this is the upstairs plumbing I'm going to have to mess with. So, But anyway, that's it. We're going to turn on the water and uh, see how it goes. Fills up the heating system again. Alright, see ya. Okay, so here we have it. We're all there. There was actually hot water going through the line, which I didn't know, which caused it to really bow and shift like that. And I had to put up other hangers, so at least it's kind of formed its own way right now. So I get to get, um, I was hoping not to have them put on every one, but you can see right here where it bows. I'm going to put another one right here just to keep it more stable. This one dips way down just to kind of keep it a little bit more stable. As the hot water goes through it, it gets more flexible. So, uh, But the big key is no leaks. No leaks. But you know where it's sticking, Lincoln? It is leaking, and I'll show you where. Because all the time, you've got to have a leak somewhere. And look at this stupid little thing. Right there. That little end piece. See the floor's all wet? Just one little teeny drip at a time. So that valve has been bad for a little while. I put the little cap thing on it, but now the cap thing's leaking. And I even put the tape on it, put a little washer on the inside, so now i got to get another one of them. But anyway, that is my project, his leftovers. Uh, you know what? There's some copper we can go turn in. Some of these insulating things I can put back up on this once I get all this hung up right. But um, you know what? I'm impressed. Never done this before and um, came out really well. So I'm happy with it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See ya!